Hello students, how are you? I am Pranathar sir and today we will be studying standard 7 physics and today's topic is light. We did discuss in the previous videos regarding uh, reflection of light. Yes, we did discuss about convergent rays, divergent rays, converging uh, beam of light, diverging beam of light. We did also discuss reflection of light, we discussed regular reflection, irregular reflection and uh, I told you that you know the image formation is formed by regular reflection. What type of reflection? Regular reflection. Okay. So today's topic is mirrors. Today's topic is mirror as we can I have written here mirrors. So basically mirrors are of two types. Okay. So the first category can be uh, said to be as plane mirrors, plane mirrors, whereas the second one can be given to as spherical, spherical mirrors. Okay. So the first one is the plane mirror and the second one is the spherical mirror. So you are quite acquainted with the plane mirror because you know every day when you wake up or in the, in the daily to day to day life you have seen this plane mirror, you uh, use it for uh, looking at your face, making yourself uh, beautiful in front of the mirror. Yes, you see that every day. So the plane mirror is that you know you use it every day. But what about the spherical mirror? Have you used it or uh, uh, do you understand what is it? So let's try to understand what the spherical mirrors are. Okay. First of all, uh, let us have a bit of discussion regarding mirrors. Okay. So mirror can be defined as a uh, mirror can be defined as a highly smooth surface and which is highly polished as well. Such that all the light that is falling over it is reflected back in the same way in regular manner. You know, we are talking of regular reflection. So, a mirror can be uh, done to as a substance, you know, or an object which provides regular reflection. Reflection because it is highly uh, smooth and highly polished. It is very smooth and highly polished. So. So uh, let us consider that this is a surface and it is very very smooth. What? Very smooth. Okay, very very smooth. Second thing is that it is polished on one side. It is polished. It can say that you, uh, you paint it on the other side. So this side which is very very smooth, it becomes a better reflector. You know? So it provides, this surface provides regular reflection. What does it provide? Regular reflection. Okay. So this regular reflection is responsible for the image formation. This regular reflection is uh, responsible for what? The image formation. Okay. This is a very very smooth surface and this provides regular reflection. Okay, so this type of substance which is very very smooth and which is polished, this type of surfaces can be termed to as mirror. Why? Because they provide regular reflection and since they provide regular reflection, image formation uh, is very very nice in this. Okay, okay. Now we can talk about spherical mirrors. Now we can talk about spherical mirrors. So first of all, let us imagine a sphere. So let us have a sphere. As you see that I have drawn a sphere. Maybe it might be not so much geometric, but you can understand that it is a sphere. So what we do? We cut this sphere in this way. Okay. Now, if this is a sphere, you know, we will have, we will have its center here. This is the geometric center of this sphere. 
This is the geometric center of this sphere. So, if I ask, what is the center? What is the center of this curve? What is the center of this curve? Then you will say, sir, it is. This is the center of this curvature. Since this is the part of this whole curve, this part is called curvature. What it is called? It is called curvature. What is called curvature? Curvature. Curvature. This means part, and this means the whole of curve. So this is a part of the whole curve. This is the part of the whole curve. So this part from here to here, it is said to be a curvature. And since this point is what the center of this curve as well as this curvature also, this is called center of curvature. This is called what center of curvature. So now what I do, what I do, I remove this portion. I remove this portion. Okay. I remove this portion. Okay. And. You will see that this this curvature center still lies here. This curvature center still lies here. It is outside the curve. It is outside the curve. Okay. So this is the center of the sphere of which this curvature is a part. The center of the sphere of which this curvature is a part is called center of curvature. Again, okay? you understand properly. And if you can't, you know, just listen it over and write it as a note. What is this? This is the center of the sphere. It is the center of the sphere of which this curvature is a part. So this center is different from the geometric center. We will come to the geometric center. Okay. So. So I hope you understood. What is this? This is the center of the sphere of which this curvature is a part. Is called center of curvature. What is its name? Its name is center of curvature. Center of curvature. Okay. So what is this point? This is the center of curvature. What is center of curvature? It is the center of the sphere. Of which this curvature is a part. Okay, this is a part of this sphere, and this is the center of this sphere. So this center is called center of curvature. Okay. Now, when we talk of this curvature, this might be having its center somewhere here, its own geometric center, its center of its body. See, this is the center of the sphere, not the center of this curvature. Are you understanding? This is the center of the sphere, not the center of this curvature. So that's why it is called center of curvature. Okay. Okay. Now we have the center of this. For example, if you uh, if consider that this is a curvature, this is a curvature. So center of curvature lies somewhere here, outside here, at this point. Whereas if I talk about the geometric center. This geometric center will lie somewhere here. Geometric center will lie somewhere here. Okay, so this is the geometric center of this curvature, and this is the center of curvature. You know, which is the center of the sphere of which it is a part. It is the this this point this point this point is the center of the sphere of which this curvature is a part, and this curvature is the plus geometric center here. This. Geometric center, this point, you know, it can be said to be as pole. What is said? Pole. Pole can be considered to be as the geometric center of the curvature. What is the pole? Pole is the geometric center of the curvature. Okay. So, uh, so let this pole be here. Okay. Let this pole be here. Now you see that you got two points. See that you got two points. You draw a line. You draw a line. Okay. You draw a line connecting these two points. The line joining these two points. These two points: center of curvature and pole. The line joining the center of curvature and pole. It this line is called what? It is called 
principal axis what it is called principal axis the line joining uh, this uh, pole and center of curvature this line is called principal axis so this principal axis is a very important line okay so you should, this has to be known this has to be known if you want to understand the image formation if you want to understand the image formation in spherical mirrors now you can see that this pole this is pole and this is center of curvature there is a point in between this this point in between exactly means actually what you can say that uh, let this point be here and this from the pole to this point is equal to the distance between this point to center of curvature this this special point it is a very special point very important point and it has been given a name called it has been given a name what focus what is its name focus okay so this is a point focus which lies here so this point is called c center of curvature this point is called f focus and this point is called p this point is called p so we have p f and c these three are the very important points in a spherical mirror so and what is the uh, specific uh, property of focus that it is equidistant from pole and c that means p f is equal to f c the distance the length p f is equal to f c this is always there so this is one characteristic now we have one more characteristic what is that one more characteristic is that if you take a ray of light which is parallel to the principal axis let us say that there is a ray of light coming parallel to the principal axis towards this towards uh, this uh, what you say this curve surface and if it provides reflection if it provides reflection it too will be passing through focus it will be passing through focus so this is the speciality of uh, focus any ray of light which is a parallel to the principal axis when it hits a concave mirror what happens is that after the reflection it will be converging towards focus it will be converging towards focus a very important thing here understood so this is the speciality of center of curvature focus pole and principal axis these are the very important things okay so now i will explain to you the various types of spherical mirrors basically they are classified into concave mirrors and convex mirrors it is classified into concave mirror and convex convex mirrors okay so let us see what is a concave mirror and what is a convex mirror okay so just hold on you know it is a very important and very interesting chapter you know, and this is it is has a very a good application for your future also if you understand things you know like this it will be very useful for you in higher studies okay so concentrate properly okay okay now let's understand what is a concave mirror concave mirror okay and so let us consider that this is the curvature that we are talking about you know i got that sphere and we got a curvature from it if if the bulging out portion you see this coming out portion the bulging out portion is silver silver you know that means polished if this portion is silver that means this surface becomes the what reflecting surface you see this portion is what silver 
means polished with silver color. Okay, polished with silver color. Okay, and that's why this portion becomes the this portion becomes the reflecting surface. Reflecting surface. This side becomes the reflecting surface, and this side becomes the silver surface. So, the, if you want to have any reflection of any object, you know, you need to keep it on the side of the reflecting surface. For example, if you got a mirror like this, if this is the front portion, you will not keep it in this way because you can't see the image from this side because this side is not the reflecting surface. This side is the reflecting surface. So, you see your face this way. Yes. So. This is your reflecting surface, okay? And this side is the silvered surface or the polished surface. Similarly, if similarly, what about the convex? What about the convex? Convex mirror. In convex mirror, what do we do? We have the same curved surface, but what we do? We Silver it or polish it in the inner side, not on the bunching outside. We are polishing it or silvering it in the inner side or the bulging inside of the curvature. And since this side is silver, this side is silver, silver or polished, this side becomes the reflecting. Reflecting surface. This side becomes the reflecting surface. So you understand it depends upon which side is the reflecting surface. The, uh, the mirror is named that way. If the inside portion is the reflecting surface, it is called concave mirror. And if the bulging outside is the reflecting surface, then it is called convex mirror. Okay. Now let us talk about. Let us say this is the pole of this concave mirror. Okay, this is the pole, and then this is what we say. Uh, this is our C. So this is pole, and this is C. And let us join these. Let us join this line. Okay, this both two points. Then this becomes our principal axis. This is our principal axis, and we know that here lies in the middle. For a point called focus, a point called focus. So, whenever a ray of light parallel to the principal axis, parallel to the principal axis, strikes the mirror, strikes the mirror. Which mirror? Concave mirror. So, what I said some time ago that it is converged. Towards the focus, it is converged towards the focus. So this is the speciality of focus that in concave mirror they are converged towards the focus. In concave mirror they are converged towards the focus. But what happens in case of convex mirror? So actually, in terms of uh, convex mirror, what is done? You understand very simple thing. See, this is a convex mirror, but you understand the sphere would have been like this. That's what the center of curvature will lie here. Where we are polishing it, it does not change the place of center of curvature. Where we are polishing it, does not change the place of pole. The pole will be lying here itself. This is the pole, and C will be lying here. This is the center of curvature, and you will have what a principal axis like this, and then we will have a middle point where we will have focus. But we can't keep the object this side because it is silver this side and the reflecting surface this side. So since the reflecting surface is this side, we have to keep the object this side, and therefore the rays will also be coming from this side only. This side also rays will be coming, but that won't be reflected. That won't be reflected. Okay. Okay. So now let us see that what happens. What happens when a ray of light parallel to the principal axis 
strikes strikes for the convex mirror so as i told you they converge towards the focus in the cave mirror but what will happen here this is silver here it cannot go here it has to reflect but what will be the direction of its reflection its direction of reflection will be in the direction of focus only means diverging away from diverging away from the focus you see it is diverging away from the focus let us say that we have one more parallel ray here it will also diverge away from the focus so this is the difference between concave mirror and convex mirror here the rays parallel to the principal axis are converged towards the focus and here the rays parallel to the principal axis are diverged away from the focus diverged away from the focus understood so uh, i hope you understood uh, different types of mirror what are the important uh, characteristics of these two mirrors and what is pole what is center of curvature what is principal axis and what is focus so the very confusing thing is focus only but you should remember that focus is a point towards which the rays parallel to the principal axis either diverge away from the focus or they tend to converge towards the focus so they will converge towards the focus in concave mirror and they will diverge away from the focus in convex mirror so uh, this is about uh, uh, this uh, mirrors today we will go on for the image formation in concave and convex mirror in the next video a very important announcement dear students zoom classes are going on and i see that many of you are not getting joined uh, in this so it is very important for you to join the zoom classes because it makes your attendance and also you got a chance to ask the doubts especially live live you understand face to face you can ask your doubts yes so i wish that you all please join the zoom classes whenever uh, means whenever the time is uh, set okay so it will be very beneficial to you only understood so i hope you uh, you hear to my request so it is a humble request that you join the zoom classes okay with this i end this video have a good day